Hey guys, so today I just wanted to show just a little demonstration. Um, I turned off, you know, DNS blocking in the profile that I made just to demonstrate, you know, if you have DNS disable set to true, you won't have to worry about this. And it's already in the uh, I2P desktop profile I made, so it already comes disabled as you as you'll see on my post where I shared some of the about config settings. So with I2P and other types of services, you know, of course, your DNS is going to be the phone book of the internet where it essentially translates the domains into IP addresses or otherwise routes the connection for that purpose. And so when you resolve a DNS, uh, I also have a pie hole set up. So this is able to capture some of the things that are coming out from the browser. So there's a browser here. You have your router, your DNS queries are coming from the browser. They go through and they meet the DNS server and it shares the domain that you're looking up with that DNS server. So there is a potential for different types of leaks when you don't have DNS blocked. So as mentioned, you know, the profile that I made has always blocked DNS. But uh, if you don't have the settings, if you turn off the DNS blocking, then you will notice that your pie hole or other DNS server that you're using can potentially get the domains of that. So as you can see, we have a couple domains here. These are just live query logs on my pie hole. So this is the actual DNS server. So the pie hole, I also have a dedicated DNS unbound server on it. So that's a little addition to the pie, standard pie hole. And when we go back over to our I2P setup, you know, I can go and open one of these domains in a tab. And when I do that, it'll load the site. I'll load a couple of them. Now, I did just load I2P, so it may take a minute to load. So we have the I2P forum.i2p. And while I have the settings set to DNS disabled, is set to false. So DNS disabled is set to false. So when what that means is it's not blocking the DNS. And as we can see on the pie hole, we see the I2P forum dot I2P. And go back over, we go back over and we block it once again. DNS disabled. And when we do that, I should then be able to open another one and when I do that it should not be leaking that I2P address. We'll do a couple. So we see that we loaded paste.idk.i2p, planet.i2p. We go back over to the pie hole to check our DNS resolves from the browser. And as you notice, there's no record of those because I have DNS settings blocked in the browser profile. So don't be confused by these earlier ones. These came through when I temporarily disabled the DNS blocking. So this is just something I wanted to do as a demonstration. So when I unblocked DNS, I was able to see these on the pie hole end. Now, once I reblocked DNS, so you have to, so it's really just a video to talk about being careful about your browser settings, regardless of the network you're using. You should be considerate. So if you're, even if you're setting up something like Tor browser, if you're setting up a Tor browser with another type of browser, this is why you should always use the official browsers where they're applicable. So with Tor, you'll want to use Tor browser wherever possible. You know, there's different types of browser changes that can change the behavior of the browser that can make it more unique as well. So it's important to be mindful of these settings. And I wanted to show the fact that if you unblock DNS, the I2P names come through to the DNS uh, resolve. And uh, so don't mind this. 
This was when I temporarily unblocked DNS just for the demonstration purposes. This wouldn't happen with the browser profile unless you manually unblock DNS. So it comes with DNS blocked. So this type of leakage can't happen normally. But I wanted to disable the DNS blocking just to demonstrate what can happen if you're not careful with your browser uh, settings. And that's why it's it's a good idea whenever possible to use something that has been made by someone who knows what they're doing so that you don't make a mistake. And so I just wanted to demonstrate that with the DNS settings standard on the I2P desktop profile, no leakage comes out. But if you temporarily enable DNS in the browser you're using, and most a lot of people don't remember to do this on their setups. So that's one reason I made the profile was to help people that may not know what settings to set. And uh, so we have DNS blocking normally for I2P browser profile. And if you don't do that, well, there's always that possibility that some kind of leak can happen. And that's why I demonstrated it by turning off the DNS blocking and just showing on the pie hole that you can pick up the ones that went through while the DNS was unblocked temporarily. But after I blocked it, you didn't see the I2P planet one come through because it's always going to be blocked unless you go through the settings yourself and unblock it. So I hope this wasn't confusing. Uh, the only reason you're seeing these I2P domains here is because I temporarily allowed DNS on the profile. Just to demonstrate that things can leak through if you're not careful with your settings. So that's what I have today, guys. So it comes with DNS blocked, but it's just for the demonstration purposes, we unblocked it just to show what happens on the other side of DNS. So thanks for watching. Make sure to share it, like it, and leave a comment if you have one. And I will be back later with more on how to protect your security and privacy.